Hey guys, it's Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm going to be talking about the Tough Needle Mattress. I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about this mattress, running through the pros, the cons, the construction, and telling you what type of sleeper is a good fit for it, what type of sleeper is not a good fit for it, so stay tuned. First things first, if you have any specific questions or you want me to give you a personal recommendation, I'm happy to do so. All you have to do is leave a comment below. Tell me a little information about yourself and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So we have the Tough Needle Mattress. It's a very popular mattress. It's one of the first online only mattresses. Um, I actually reviewed this mattress before uh, a number of years ago and I was excited to give my updated thoughts given just how many new mattresses have come out into the market. Let's talk about what's inside of the Tough Needle Mattress. Starting with the cover, it's a very thin cover. It's nice and soft, has a pretty nice texture to it. Very thin though, so it's not gonna really affect the feel too much overall. Moving on to the mattress, very simple construction overall. We got 10 inches, have seven inches of a pretty standard base layer. You're gonna see this in a lot of other all foam mattresses. Then we have three inches of a proprietary uh, foam. It's called adaptive foam. It is kind of combining memory foam and latex like quality. So it should have good pressure relief for memory foam, but then good response like latex does. So we'll see how that looks. It kind of snaps back into place very quickly. So you're not gonna get the feeling of getting stuck. You might not be able to see this, but there's actually graphite and gel infused into the foam. So it's gonna be very breathable in that that graphite and gel is gonna kind of draw heat away. Um, so being three inches, this is a pretty soft material. It's possible if you're heavier, you might press through here and kind of feel a little bit more firmness underneath there. Uh, so that's just something to note for, for heavier sleepers. Uh, but it does have pretty good pressure relief, good response overall. So you're gonna have good pressure relief without the feeling of getting stuck. Now let's talk about firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put this mattress about a six and a half out of 10, with 10 being the firmest. I would say a note of caution there. I think it probably depends on your weight. You have two layers. The top layer is three inches of a very soft material. So if you're heavier, you may press through that more easily and feel a little bit more firmness. If you're lighter, you may not press through that top layer and hit the firm layer underneath that. So depending on your weight, you may disagree, but I'm gonna go with about a six and a half out of 10. As far as feel is concerned, it has good pressure relief. Um, it's immediately responsive though. So if I push my hand in here and kind of put it away, the foam snaps right back into place. So you're not gonna get that feeling of getting stuck. There is some bounce. If we drop this lacrosse ball here, you'll see that there's a little bit of bounce. So it's gonna be pretty easy to move around and you're not gonna get the feeling of getting stuck. Now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions. Starting on my back, first thing I notice is that it allows my hips to sink in, but not too much. I feel like overall it's a pretty good match for me. You can feel it kind of conforming to the curves of my body, kind of reaching up into that lumbar area. So pretty good match for me. I think if you're a little bit heavier than I am, you might want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive overall. But now switching to my side, I feel like this is actually a pretty good match for me here. I don't really feel a ton of pressure on my shoulders and hips. I think most people would probably agree with that. Again, if you're heavier, you may kind of press through the, the top layer, which is three inches. Pretty soft material, you may feel a little bit more firmness overall. But um, I think for someone of my weight or someone uh, a little bit less than I am, it's actually a pretty good fit. Now switching to my stomach, I think it's a little bit too soft for me. I think if you're kind of my weight or heavier, you're probably gonna want something a little bit firmer, more supportive overall. You got three inches of this very soft material, so you probably want something a little bit firmer in my opinion. So here at Mattress Clarity, we like to mix objective opinions with objective tests. So I wanna give you a visual representation where you might feel pressure points on this mattress. To do that, I have a pressure map here. Get down on my backside and stomach, and you're gonna see anywhere from blue to no pressure, all the way up to red to high pressure. The only thing to note is if you have a different body type than I do, you may see different results, but let's get started. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person, I want to give my experience with the Tuft & Needle mattress here. So, in terms of firmness, Joe said it was a 6.5 out of 10, and I actually agree, I thought it was a 6.5 out of 10, and about medium in terms of firmness. On my back, I definitely feel I'm not getting quite enough support. I kind of feel like I'm sinking into the mattress a little bit there. I definitely need more support in that position. 
On my side though, I'm feeling nice pressure relief. My shoulders and my hips, I kind of sink in that top layer, feel really nice pressure relief there. On my stomach though, again, it's too soft for me. I'm definitely bowing at the hips and feeling myself get out of alignment. So what does that mean? I think if you're a heavier back sleeper, you probably need something more supportive. If you're a heavier side sleeper, you could find comfort on this mattress. If you're a heavier stomach sleeper, you're probably gonna need more support. Now I will note, I'm 230 pounds, I'm a larger person, but if you're like in the 300 to 500 pound weight range, it's definitely something to know this mattress might or may not be supportive enough for you. We get a lot of questions from people who sleep with a partner. They want to know if their partner is moving around on that side of the bed. Is that motion going to be isolated or is it going to transfer over to them and possibly wake them up at night? We call this motion transfer. To test that, I have a glass here. I'm going to create a little disturbance here, see how this glass reacts. You can see it's not moving too much. Um, I also had Martin on my team kind of jump in and out of bed, create a little disturbance while I was on this side of the bed. Didn't really feel too much of that motion transfer over to me, so I feel like this is a potentially good option for couples. So if you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed or you're a heavier sleeper, you may want to consider something we call it edge support. And I'm on the mattress here and you can see that this foam is collapsing quite a bit. So I feel like the edge support isn't the best here, but I'm going to kind of switch onto my, on my back here <clears throat> towards the edge of the bed. And I get a little bit of that kind of rolling off the bed feeling. So I feel like edge support is not the best characteristic of this mattress. I'm gonna talk through some of the pros of this mattress or who I think this mattress may be a good fit for. Number one, just a very good value. It's about $600 for a queen. I think it's pretty comparable to a lot of mattresses that are more expensive than that. So I think the value is really there. I think it's also a pretty good match for side and back sleepers. Felt pretty good pressure relief on my side. Felt pretty good overall support on my back. So I think combination sleepers as well, it's just kind of in that medium firmness range. So it's gonna be a pretty good fit for you know, multiple sleeping positions. Uh, I think it's also a breathable mattress. So if you're worried about kind of sleeping hot and you wanna get a foam mattress, this could be a potentially very good option for you. Uh, it also has memory foam-like qualities, but without the feeling of getting stuck, which I really like as well. Now I'm gonna talk through some of the cons of this mattress or who I think this mattress may not be the best fit for. Number one, if you just sleep on your stomach, I think you're probably gonna want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive. Uh, it's kind of in that medium firmness range. And if you just sleep on your stomach, you definitely want something just a little bit firmer. Also, if you're a heavier sleeper or you have extra support needs, I would probably look for something a little bit more supportive, potentially something with, with coils in the, uh, in the support kind of layers there. Um, and the last thing is if you want something that's very firm or very soft, this is kind of in the medium firmness range. So you're not gonna really find that to be the case with, with a tough needle mattress. So we get a lot of questions asking us to compare Tuft & Needle to Casper, so I thought I'd just touch on that briefly. As far as construction is concerned, the Tuft & Needle is more simple in its construction. It has two layers. Casper has four layers. Casper also has something called zone support. So in the middle part of the mattress, it's going to be a little bit firmer, give you more support when you're on your stomach and back. It's going to be a little bit softer underneath your shoulder if you sleep on your side. So the, the construction is a little bit more complex. You get a little bit more with the Casper, but it comes with a much higher price tag. So you really have to balance, do you really want that extra that you get from the Casper with the extra price tag? I think it's gonna be a little bit more appropriate for heavier sleepers to go with the Casper, but for other sleepers, you may just find that the Tuft Needle is, is pretty similar and you can't really decide, and so you might just wanna save some money by going with the Tuft Needle. I would say the overall firmness and feel are actually pretty similar, so those are the main differences. I wanted to give you some additional information about this mattress. You get a 10 year warranty, a 100 night sleep trial, free shipping and returns. They also have a kind of luxury step up version of this mattress called the Mint, which is a more substantial mattress, gives you more layers as well. Um, they also have stores now, um, so depending on where you are, you may be close to a store. Um, they're kind of in select locations. Um, also, they have a bunch of accessories available, and they don't have any financing available like other companies do. I think the price tag is so low that they don't feel like they need that, at least at this point. All right, to wrap up, that's basically it. I think a lot of people are gonna like the Tuft & Needle mattress. With this mattress, it's really all about value. I don't think there's too many better values that you can find out there at $600 for a queen. Um, it's not gonna last you like 20 years or anything like that, but just a very no frills, simple construction, direct to consumer. They're really pricing it about as low as they can get. And I think a lot of people are gonna like it. I would just caution maybe heavier sleepers, and if you just sleep on your stomach, you might want something a little bit firmer and more supportive. All right, so that's basically it. If you're just getting started with your research, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you want to see a list of our top picks, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.